Okay, students, let's begin. We'll have a quick revision on rectification of errors. Okay, then we will go into the next chapter. Quick revision on rectification of errors. Now, what are the types of errors that we have? Error of principle. Shh. What is error of principle? Capital item is treated as revenue item. Okay, trial balance will tally. Error of principle. Then we have clerical errors. What are clerical errors? Errors of omission, errors of commission and compensating errors. If it is error of omission, it can be two types. That is complete omission and partial omission. If it is complete omission, trial balance will tally. If it is partial omission, partial omission is basically one-sided. If it is one-sided, trial balance will not tally. Clear? And if it is error of commission, then again you have to see whether the error of commission is also one-sided or two-sided. If it is one-sided, trial balance will not tally. And if it is two-sided, trial balance will tally. Compensating errors. What are compensating errors? One error is compensating for the other error. And because of that, trial balance is tallying. Okay. Now, errors of commission. We have seen different types of errors of commission. That is why error of commission, we didn't have any chart over here. Okay. Errors of commission, writing wrong amount in journal, both debit and credit. Debit is also wrong. Credit is also wrong. Is it two-sided now? Trial balance will tally. Clear? Entering wrong amount in subsidiary book. We have discussed very clearly with subsidiary book. If you enter wrong amount, it will get totaled also wrong. So, it will affect one-sided and it will also affect the other side. So, both the sides it will affect. So, trial balance will tally. Correct entry posted to wrong account. You received money from X. You have put it to Y's account. Still, trial balance will tally. Clear? Now, we'll see some of the errors of uh, commission where trial balance is not going to tally. Posting wrong amount in ledger. 10 rupees was posted as 100 rupees. One-sided. So, trial balance will not tally. Posting amount on the wrong side of the ledger. You were supposed to put it onto the debit side. You have posted it onto the credit side. So, now it will create a one-sided error. Because of that, trial balance will not tally. Then, wrong balancing of ledger. When you are seeing the difference between debit side and credit side, you are getting a difference of 20 rupees, but you have written it as 18 rupees. Because of that, trial balance is not going to tally. Clear? Wrong total in subsidiary book. I think this is the most common error in rectification of errors. Sales book under cast. Sales return book under cast. So when you totaled it, you have made a mistake. Because of that, when totaling, there is a mistake. I think we have seen this in subsidiary book. This is how it works. If you enter something over here, Okay, if you enter this wrong, it will affect the total as well as it will affect the party. Clear? But if you enter correctly and you total it wrong, that time it will affect only one side. This one has correctly been entered. So, it will go correctly to the respective debtor or creditor depending on the sales book or purchase book. Is it clear? Now, wrong total is done. Now, stage of rectification. What is the first stage of rectification before preparation of trial balance? If it, is, if it is before preparation of trial balance, that means there is no mention of suspense account. Suspense account will be born only when trial balance is prepared. So, after before preparation of trial balance, do not even think of suspense account. After preparation of trial balance, in the current year, in the current year if you are preparing, I mean if in the current year if you are rectifying, that time obviously there is suspense account. Wherever you are rectifying one-sided errors, the other side will be suspense account. Clear? In the next accounting year, suspense account rule remains same. Suspense account ru rule will not change. But along with that, in your rectification entry, if you have any expenses or incomes, instead of putting those respective names, instead of that, you write P&L adjustment account. Clear? Now, rectification before preparation of trial balance. Suspense account not to be used. Because there is no suspense account itself. Rectify one-sided errors by passing a statement. If it is one-sided error, just write one side and write the statement. Why you are doing it? Undercast, overcast, extra, less, double, whatever it is, write the statement. Rectify two-sided errors by passing journal entry. Two-sided errors, there is no problem. Now, rectification after preparation of trial balance in the same accounting period. If it is in the same accounting period, what will you do? Rule number one, suspense account to be used. Suspense account to be used means what? Every entry will you put suspense account? No, only for one-sided one-sided errors caused suspense. Now, when you are rectifying, you remove the suspense. So, suspense account will be used. When one-sided errors are rectified, suspense account to be used. When two-sided, this is not two, when two-sided errors are rectified, suspense account not required. Is it clear? 
Now, when one-sided errors are rectified, understand this. If in the rectification entry, an account has to be debited, then suspense account has to be credited and vice versa. In the rectification entry, you know what to debit. Only one side. Other side is not there. So, credit will be suspense account. And you know what to credit. Debit is not there. So, debit will be suspense account. Clear? Now, rectification after preparation of trial balance in the next year. Everything remains same. The new addition is only that P&L adjustment. Rectification entry will be passed same as previous case. Everything same as previous case. Suspense account rule is not going to change. In rectification entry, if there are incomes or expenses, then use P&L adjustment account. What is the reason behind this? Last year's income or last year's expense should not impact this year's profit. That is why instead of that, you will use the word P&L adjustment account. Clear? Now, one-sided error, what will you do? Trial balance will not tally. Difference would have been put into suspense account. Therefore, use suspense account in rectification entry. But you have seen the illustration, right? Now see, if this is a trial balance, I have written only debit 10. There is no credit. So now automatically when there is no credit, credit is there. Because we follow double entry system of accounting. Something is credited, but we don't know what that something is. Now that something is going to be suspense. When you find that something, you will remove suspense and you will put whatever ledger it is. Is it clear? So therefore, trial balance did not tally because it was one sided error. And because it did not tally, you have put it into suspense account. Now when you are rectifying it, use suspense account because you are going to remove that suspense and you are going to put the actual item. But if it is two sided error, trial balance will tally. So suspense account not needed. Clear? Now. Method to rectify, pass correct entry, wrong entry and rectification entry. We have seen this. If you are too thorough, if you are too, if you are too thorough with this, right? What will you do? Directly you can write the rectification entry. That means correct entry and wrong entry is happening in your head itself. Now, notes. This is very, very important. And what is the golden rule? What is the golden rule of rectification? What they have not told in the question. That is always correct. Why? Because the question always starts, rectify the following errors. So if they are listing something, those are only errors. If they don't talk about it, that means it is not an error. Now, these notes are important. If account is not debited, what should you do? Debit it. If account is debited less, what should you do? Debit it. If account is not credited, what should you do? Credit it. If account is credited less, what should you do? Credit it. If account is debited more, what should you do? If account is debited more, what should you do? Credit it. If account is credited more, what should you do? Debit it. And if account is wrongly debited also, you will credit. And if account is wrongly credited also, you will debit. You just have to do the opposite whenever there is something extra. That is your quick revision on rectification of errors. Done.